Good morning, everyone. This is Wally from Al Mahad Al Alim Lulogat Fi Wen Baghdad Mar. Good morning. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ismi Walid from the Markaz Al Alimi Lulogat Fi Baghdad. Today, we will talk about the topic. تعلم المفردات في اللغة الإنجليزية وشون تقدر تضيف مفردات جديدة لحصيلتك اللغوية باللغة طبعا طريقة كلش بسيطة وبخاصة يعني دار كرسها للمدرسين مدرسين اللغة الإنجليزية كونها فعالية تقدر سوية as an icebreaker فخلي نبدي First of all, good morning, this is Waleed or good afternoon, whatever you're seeing this video I'll be talking about an activity that we do and we dedicate for English teachers who are teaching English in the elementary level or in the intermediate level. We can also do it as an activity, as an icebreaker for a lot of students who have variable level. We can put them in a small groups and we can have them sit and chat about these activities. Uh, these activities that uh, they are always um, have to do with enriching their vocabulary um, level in language. So pretty much the activity is very simple. It's um, listing the uh, letters of alphabet. So here you don't you see that um, I don't have enough space, but this is just an exemplification of the uh, process of conducting this activity. Um, for you as learners, we can also get the advantage of this activity by always brainstorming a lot of vocabulary that we learned but we might have forgotten um, in language and also um, sometimes we don't practice them. So the activity is just like this. You put noun, verb, adjective, and adverb. And then you list the letters of the alphabet here. So you start from A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. And then what you're going to do is to make up words from the English dictionary um, that fits each one of the categories. So for example, let's think of a, a noun that starts with A. So for example, we have apple. Okay? Now let's let's think of a verb that starts with A. So for example, um, act. Let's move on. Let's think of an adjective that it starts with A. Um, let me think, amazing. Okay, so amazing is an, um, is an adjective that it starts with an A. So, <clears throat> amazing. Also, you can get very creative, adding L-Y to some of the adjectives that can be um, derived and um, transferred to an adverb here. So, amazingly. Now let's move on. Um, B, let's think of a noun that starts with B letter. Um, like, for example, boy. A verb that starts with B. So, for example, by. An adjective that starts with B, of course, you would say beautiful. So, beautiful. And then also you can be very creative and saying, well, beautiful um, can be uh, rendered in uh, adverbs, so we can say beautifully, okay? So, beautifully. This activity um, is dedicated for English teachers and also newly um, starting learners of English language because it's going to help you enrich your vocabulary and also make you motivated to look in the dictionary to find uh, more terminology that have to do with this uh, particular activity. <clears throat> I recommend that you do this every week, every month, in order to enrich your vocabulary and always try to make up new words here. So you can go from A to Z and you can go from noun to adverb. That was in brief and summary in a nutshell, as we say in English, in a nutshell means briefly. Um, the main concept of doing this activity in order to enrich your vocabulary, I hope, 
it's going to be helpful for you. Um, also, please subscribe to the videos on my channel on uh, YouTube and uh, stay in touch with our Facebook group, um, English Corner in Baghdad University, and um, the page of the Global Language Center, Al Markaz Al Anami Al Lugat. Shukran Jazeera, Walid Khalid.